All right, so everyone wants to know how I digitally take notes, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to talk about how to take notes in class and then how I annotate those notes when I go home and use the book and then just printing them out and studying. Um, so first things first, um, I bought my iPad the first official week of school. We had orientation and then we kind of had like a syllabus week where we kind of went over a few things. I just took like laptop notes, but I personally was kind of falling behind because I like detail notes and I like color coding and I like writing on charts and stuff so the second week of class I legit got an iPad I have the sixth generation iPad when I purchased mine it was on sale for 250 so that was bomb um, I do not have the Apple pencil I have like a $30 stylus from Amazon because hashtag broke college kid um, <laughs> but I love it so far and honestly it saved my life in the beginning I was kind of skeptical 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 yeah but I'm like obsessed with my iPad now. It's with me all the time. Like we literally will come in and I will start out on my laptop taking a quiz for class and stuff. And then after that, I legit am on my iPad the entire time. So I take my notes on my iPad. I answer a few emails and everything, but Good Notes 5 is God for me. Oh my gosh, I freaking love Good Notes. Like I know there's awesome other um, note-taking apps with good notes it just happened to be what I use um, I haven't used any other ones so I really can't speak on those but right now I'm loving good notes um, I organize all of them into folders which I'm gonna pop somewhere in this video at some time or maybe right here you never know but <laughs> I love good notes it keeps everything organized and I love love organization so much um, so that's what I've been using to organize all of my notes um, into folders into classes and everything also um, I even have a folder for IPPE when I'm doing random assignments um, other than that my iPad has also been awesome for just like signing documents and um, completing worksheets in class oh my gosh it saved me so much paper so we had like a calculations quiz and worksheet and I was like you know what I'm not gonna print this I'm just gonna ask him if I can do it on my iPad and he was like oh yeah go ahead if you have a fancy device use it and I was like I got a fancy device I'm gonna use it and it was great because it was right there and when I went to study it was right there like oh you guys it's so great and you can search through your powerpoints i legit love my ipad so much it's ridiculous so let's get to it so since we've already talked about searching through documents we might as well go ahead and do that um so typically you just hit search or the little search icon in the top left hand corner of good notes and then you just type in what you're looking for so i'm doing the example of cell so 32 results pop up and there we go flip through and it basically highlights all cells in my documents. Next we're going to go into annotating. So specifically for me in immunology in this one class, I will take a few notes during lecture and then I go back and read through the book and I annotate the notes in the PowerPoints that he gave us. So you can see that I will copy the picture and then I paste it onto a new good notes page and I just go to town on my notes and typically some of my um, professor's lecture slides will actually be like one thought over multiple slides so I bring them together in an example like this and then I can go and delete those two extra pages because now I have one page of two slides titles I know everyone has like is obsessed with titles but I specifically use the app over which basically gives me a um, transparent title that I can add to my PowerPoint. Um, I know some people are really good at calligraphy and stuff, but I just don't have that much time to do that and it over takes literally five seconds. So I can make that title, crop my picture, and add it into one page and just start going to town on notes.
have some handwritten notes I did without a PowerPoint. So we were giving a two and a half hour farm sci lecture to listen to slash watch. And so what I wanted to do is I did want to take a few notes, but obviously not like jot down everything for the PowerPoint. So mainly in this video, you're going to see just a few lists um, and a few screenshots of the drugs they were talking about in the video that I decided to copy and paste. So when it gets to that, I'll talk about that. So here's an example of me bringing in a picture copy and pasted from the actual lecture. So basically what I did is I took a screenshot on my laptop, airdropped it to my iPad, and literally it took two seconds to hit pictures, import it, sort of kind of crop it slash uh, minimize it, and then we're done. So now what everyone's been asking me about, basically the paper-like protector is a godsend. I absolutely love mine. I got mine on Amazon for 16 something. Um, I'll drop the link below. I don't think it's an actual paper-like brand, but I mean, it works just as well. Um, so basically I got it because I didn't really like the sound of my pencil and my iPad. It really just sounded like glass hopping on glass and it was really annoying, especially in class when you're trying, you know, not to disturb the person next to you. And also I've been talking to people about it and uh, several people in my class have it and they freaking love it. So I took a leap and bought one and it's been the best decision I've ever made. Um, I've had it for about two and a half days now and honestly I have like been writing better and faster. It's great. It's, ugh, it's just great. Ugh, I love it so freaking much. Um, it's not bothersome whatsoever. I know people ask, were asking like, you know, does it bubble? Does it have a glare? Do you like the feeling? None, nothing bothers me. Um, someone did actually ask about fingerprints. I do notice a few fingerprints pretty often, but it's really like not even that bad. Like the goods outweigh the bads. Um, easy installation. It's, it's just freaking awesome. It really does feel like paper. I know that's cliche, but it really does feel like, like you're writing on paper and it actually like really diminishes the sound of my writing. So I just feel like I've been like going to town when I'm writing because I'm writing so much more than I was before, especially when annotating my PowerPoints after, after classes. So it's definitely a good buy. I'll link the one I purchased below. I uh, remember that I did purchase a 9.7 inch iPad. So obviously if you're iPad is bigger, it's gonna be a little bit more. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, so basically, I love my iPad. It saves me so much time, so much paper, and it just kept me productive and on a roll since getting it those two weeks. Month ago? Oh my gosh, like a month and two weeks ago. Oh, wow, school's going by so fast. But yeah, like, 
it's great. Um, I plan on doing a more in-depth video on Good Notes and how I specifically use it, just like everything I use in it, not just an overview like I did today. And I'm also going to probably release a video next week on how I not only just like annotated my immuno immunology notes, but how I'm going to print them, organize them, and digitally study them for my big exam coming up next week. See you guys. Thanks for watching.